Drew here, Frisco Tennis Stringing. Uh, I was about to string a racket, just wanted to make a fun, quick little video to give my opinion, I guess, on the ultimate question that all tennis players, and especially us stringers, uh, have to answer, and that is how often to restring a tennis racket. Uh, a lot of people will just, particularly beginners, think they just play with strings until they break, which is uh, not a very good way to think about restringing a racket. Not only because I want the business as a stringer, but if you want to be a competitive player, uh, you could play with thick strings, 16 gauge strings for a very long time and think all is good and you're really not uh, achieving your potential. Uh, so basically I just wanted to give my opinion on this issue. Um, obviously when a string breaks, uh, you need to restring your racket or you, know, look, you need to do a grommet replacement, need to remove the grommets, you need to restring your racket. But the short answer a lot of people give with stringing rackets is you, you should restring a racket as many times a year as you play during a week. So if you play once a week, restring your racket once a year. And that's a good sound bite, but uh, I'm actually not a very big fan of that if you uh, want to take your game to the next level. For instance, a popular string material today, really it's grown in such popularity uh, over the years. Uh, is polyester string and polyester is a great string because it's really durable it's great for spin it's become one of the most popular strings out there uh, but it loses its tension and, and its uh, consistency fairly soon if you're a competitive player you can go out with uh, on the court and hit with poly for a while and for uh, you know 15 20 hours of playing you will notice uh, even less you will notice uh, the strings to be dead you'll hear that term a lot dead and it's really time for restringing. Uh, I have a uh, string tension meter, a gauge that I can test the tension on, but honestly don't even use this that often because uh, I can usually hit with it and the people I string for, especially the ones who play four or five times a week, uh, can just tell from the feel that those strings are dead. So Polly, if you're a competitive player, every two to three weeks, if you're a competitive player playing several times a week, you should look at uh, getting those tested or at least make sure uh, you're getting the control and the snapback that you need from a good consistent stringing. Uh, a natural gut, I would say, since it's a very expensive string, play with that until it breaks or at least starts to wear. Natural string is my favorite string, but it's also the most expensive string. Uh, so I would say play with that natural gut until it breaks because uh, that is not a string that you usually want to cut out uh, Unless you have to. Uh, natural string, natural gut, it's not immune to, you know, dying or losing a snapback, but that's a very expensive string and it really holds its tension and its playability well. So natural gut you can play with a lot longer. A synthetic gut or a multi-filament string, uh, that's going to be somewhere in between. Uh, so a poly loses its feel and its tension pretty uh, within a pretty short amount of time if you're a competitive player, but a synthetic gut or a multi-filament string, you can play with a little bit longer. So I have one guy who plays all the time. His polys, uh, every two to three weeks, he's replacing those, and his synthetic gut and his multi-filament strings, he's replacing those maybe once a month, once every six weeks, uh, but he's always keeping an eye on it, and his hybrids, uh, he sometimes has to get rid of the entire hybrid just because his poly is dead and we don't like uneven tension on the string so we cut it out and redo it. Uh, so that's just my opinion. Just to recap, uh, poly strings you're going to need to replace more often. They lose their feel and playability. They're great strings. I love them. I play with them. Uh, but you're going to restring those if you're a competitive player more often than other strings. Doesn't mean they're not great strings. You will need to keep an eye on those or keep a feel of them as you're playing to make sure they still have their playability. Synthetic gut, multi-filament, you can go a little bit longer. If you're a competitive player, maybe once a month, once every six weeks. That's how often you just need to replace those. Again, always monitor how it's playing. How's your control? Is it snapping back? Because remember, as soon as the racket's tension and we tie the knots, it's going to lose its tension quick, maybe like 10% within one day. Then after that, you got to keep uh, playing it, keep feeling it out. Uh, natural gut, like I said, it'll play the best and it holds its tension and its playability is the best. That's why it's the most expensive, but that's why it's still widely used, at least definitely as a hybrid for some of the best players in the world because it is such a great playable string. So I would say play with that as often as you can because you don't want to spend too much money on it. 
uh, again, it's not immune to uh, becoming dead on the racket, but a natural gut string is going to last much uh, longer as far as playability, assuming it doesn't break. Because remember, a natural gut, it'll start to, uh, since it is natural material, it will start to show signs of wear and tear as you're playing with it. But play with it as long as you can. It's such a great string. I personally love the natural gut copoly hybrid setup for when I play. And the competitive players I string for, college players, 5.0 players, really great uh, high school players. They love that hybrid feel too, but we're always monitoring the poly and the natural gut setup to make sure it still has playability factors. This has been Drew from Frisco Tennis Stringing, giving me my opinion on how often you should restring your racket if you're a competitive player, and I hope to talk soon.